What is this hairstyle called in Japanese? For those of you who are listening audio only, I have two braids today. What is it called? If you guessed Mitsuami, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. To Moiko Namayarimas. There is one more name for this hairstyle that you might have heard about or might not have, and that is Osage. Osage this. It's called Osage. Mitsuami demo in the kiddo. It's totally fine if it's just Mitsuami too. But you might hear the word Osage when you're like reading a shosetsu or a manga or something, they might refer to this hairstyle. Like that. Can you do a French braid? Because French braids are pretty cool. It took me a really long time to master French braids. I think it was in like high school or college towards the end where. I think it was in high school actually, thinking back now.、Um, but my friend and I used to. I think it was for statistics. And the teacher had like a whiteboard outside or something. I don't know. And we would be kind of like sitting on the stairs. And listening to whatever the lecture of the statistics class for that day was. And she would braid my hair. And then after we were done, or like the next day or whatever, we would switch and she would do like waterfall braids and stuff on my hair. So I think that's when I learned it, actually. But yeah, after that, I did master the French braiding.、Um, then I went off to college and I didn't really use French braiding or braiding my hair until I was. In North Dakota, flying airplanes and also working at Denny's. <laughs>、um, yeah, because, like, if you're, if it's like in the ponytail, you know, you have like loose strands and it kind of just kind of poofs up after a while or like brushing against like the back of the airplane seat or like, I don't know, get food syrup in your hair or whatever at Denny's. <laughs> and so, yeah, I kind of learned to French braid. My hair kind of like my bangs would go this way, and then like the side would go that way, and then just kind of put it in a little bun or go all the way down、um, the back so that it just wouldn't get in the way. But it just stays there 100%. It's like so reliable to like have it out of your face. So that's why I used it a lot for those situations. Long car rides, braid your hair. Airplane travel, I would also braid my hair. I don't know, it's just a good way. Just keep it all away somewhere. Another hairstyle that you might come across, like written or in a TV show or something that's Japanese, is okappa. Can you guess what this hairstyle is? Ta-da! <laughs> Kappa じゃないよ Okappa だよ So, this is kind of what I had growing up. <laughs> kind of like these hairstyles where it was like cut very sharply. Or, like,、um, usually it's referred to as like kind of a little bit below the ears, just straight back, and then like really straight bangs. I feel like Kappas just keep sneaking into our videos and episodes. We just have a proper Kappa episode someday.、Um, o Kappa might be like if you can imagine Haku from Spirited Away or Sento Chihiro no Kamikakushi. He kind of has like that patsungiri of like. Patsungiri, like just cut very. How do you translate that? Very straight without like layering effect or anything like that. Or Dokuri from Naruto, if you know who that is. That's very like. I guess the sides are a little bit rounded, but his bangs are very straight, so it's patsung. Yeah, I don't remember not having okappa when I was like. Kindergarten through, I think, first grade.、Uh, my mom's philosophy of growing your hair out was that you have to be able to take care of your own hair and you should be able to, you know, like put them into braids or tie them or whatever. So I just always had okapa hair. And then I eventually learned how to tie my hair. And so I would take these like beaded. Like they had little bead jada jadas on the sides for hair ties. I would take two of them with me and I would try to tie、um, two ponytails or tsuin teru as I walk to my school. Sometimes I do remember, like, distinctly, like, this one time it was like completely not straight. <laughs> and I didn't notice until I think I was at school. And so I had to fix it. But it's kind of hard to. 
have it straight, you know, kind of at even level. If you don't have a mirror and you're walking to school. Yeah. So I was always jealous of little kids that were in my kindergarten, especially this one girl that had like perfect sara sara, tsia tsia, long hair, like down to her like belly button almost. And like, I wanted her hair. <laughs> yeah, my mom used to cut my hair. So I never went to a tokoya san or a hair styling place, um, haircut place. And so, yeah, she would cut my hair. And then when my sister was old enough, she would also help out and started cutting our hair. So my sister would cut my mom's hair, too, and my hair. Yeah. So I never went until I think like third grade when I was in America for like three months. Uh, my grandma took me to a hair styling place, hair cut place. And I was like, oh, this is so different. Like someone else that's not my mom or my sister is cutting my hair. It's wild. And they're like touching my scalp. It's weird. But like if you're my mom or my sister, sometimes, you know, like they're not trained to cut hair. So I sometimes just had like naname bangs or naname no namai gami. Just kind of slanted bangs because, you know, you're a child and it'll grow out eventually. So... You just kind of leave it. Or, Chotto Maruko chan hea ni natte tai toka. Maruko chan is a character from an uh, anime. I think it started as an anime, right? Maybe not. Probably not, actually. Manga? Maruko chan. This one. This is the. This is the girl from the anime. <laughs> With the giza giza. Giza giza bangs. Um, but if, you know, you do it wrong, it could maybe end up with like weird gaps in your bangs. If you, you know, cut a little bit this way. Yeah, I basically had this haircut growing up with a little bit, a little bit more chaotic cutting. Because I grew up in Japan being a hahu, like half Japanese, half American, I also had like slightly more brown hair. And especially because I played soccer or like was running around outside a lot, I would have like when I put my bangs, you know, like my hair up, my bangs would be at the top. So my bangs were like golden brown color. And so I would get, you know, like now and again, I would just get asked, like, please don't dye your hair because you weren't, you're not supposed to dye your hair when you're at school or going to school. So that happened to me every so often. They'll be like, do you dye your hair? Like, no, I don't dye my hair. It's just my natural hair color. I'm sorry. Because, like, it'll change color over over the course of the year. Like, in the summer, it'll be lighter. And then in the winter, it'll be darker. So, I get the confusion. There's, like, three different ways you can say, like, I'm putting my hair up or I'm tying my hair up. Um, kami wo kukuru. So, kukuru is to, like, take a bunch of things and put it into one. That's kami wo kukuru. Musubu? Musubu is to like tie up. And then ageru is to lift. So like kami wo ageru because it's down and then you put it ag ageru. So kami wo kukuru, kami wo musubu, and then kami wo ageru. Ato wa pin de tomeru toka mo ne. You can like have a little hairpin. Pin de tomeru toka. Hairpin, pin dome. Those are all names for all, all the like hair clips that you could have. Pachin to come in it. The ones that um, have the sound that they make when you bend them, those are called pachin sometimes. Pachin motteru to go. I don't actually know if I ever went to the bathroom and like checked how high my ponytails were when I got to school. But speaking of bathrooms, in Japan, I don't know about where you guys are from, but in Japan, especially at schools, if there are like more than three stalls in the bathroom. The third one you never go into because Sadako-san lives there. And there's like a whole bunch of different stories that you could read about Sadako-sans, but it's a person or a girl that like lives in the third stall that has a certain hairstyle. Um, and if you have that kind of a hairstyle, then you could refer to as Sadako-san hair. But it's essentially when you have long, longer hair. Um, this is a, like, medium, like, a longer than mine. Um, and then it, like, 
is usually straight, black, and if your bangs also are kind of unruly or like long with the rest of the hair and you can't see your face, um, then you could refer to as Hatakusan hair. If girls, you know, after having pool time or whatever, um, in the summer, the gym time will be pool time. And so, like, after we're done having the pool and, like, we're drying off, we're combing our hair out. And if someone has, like, long hair, they'll, like, you know, you'll have to comb it in the front. And so, they might have, like, that Sadako-san look. There really isn't too many hairstyles that the boys had. Um, it's either, like, Bozu, which is, like, like, Obo-san, the kanji for Obo-san. But, like, you know really really short hair like body count kind of like shaved off not hage though not like all the way down but bozu and then speaking of hage i think i had one kyoto sensei if i remember correctly they were all cool though i feel like so maybe not i don't know <laughs> but i feel like the very first one might have had bakodo hair Try to imagine what that might look like. If you're ever like watching Owarai or something like comedy shows in Japan, um, some of the katsuras might look like this with the bako the hair on top. Did you have a favorite hairstyle you grew up with? Or if you have kids, like, do you have favorite like hairstyles that you try to do with their hair or that they like? If you want to share them, I would love to hear them or see them in our Discord or the comments below. See you in our next episode.